Well, hello again, everybody. Uh, we really appreciate you joining us again for our daily devotional. Uh, I had to go with cutting the hair again earlier. That's the third haircut, uh, self haircut of the lockdown. Uh, you're going blind around the back with a clipper, so I think I farmed it a bit, we be bit around the back, but uh, hopefully it's not too bad at the front. Good to see you all, and we welcome you to our broadcast. Little verse of scripture from Isaiah, chapter 43, and it's verse number two. A wonderful promise for the Christian in times of trial. God says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee. And through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. And it's just that little phrase, When thou walkest through the fire. That's a very significant verse. It doesn't say if you walk through the fire, but God says when thou walkest through the fire. You see, the fiery trial in the life of the Christian is something that we are to expect. God's servant Peter said, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. We are to expect the fiery trials. Just to, oh, still there. Just checking on the dog. Couldn't see him there. But we are to expect fiery trials. The Bible says that the Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, in Malachi 3 will sit as a refiner and as a purifier of silver. And we think of Job who said, When he hath tried me, I shall come forth. As gold. We are to expect the fiery trial. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee, because God promises to be with us. Our wonderful Saviour is with us in the fiery trial. You'll remember, many of you that are listening, the story of Daniel's three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And because they refused to go according to the customs of the land in which they lived and get involved in the idolatry of their day and generation, they were thrown into the midst of a burning and a fiery furnace. And whenever one of the men went down to look into the midst of that furnace from a great distance, he saw not three men, but four. And he said to the king that the form of the fourth is like unto the sun of God. And whenever we are in the fiery trial, as many of you undoubtedly are, be assured that the Lord is with you. You know, the famous story is told of a silversmith who was asked by an onlooker, whenever he put the silver into the fiery furnace, into the, the refiner's fire, into the crucible, how do you know when it's time to remove the silver? And he famously said, I know it's time to take the silver out of the fire because I can see many of the impurities coming to the surface and being purged away. And then whenever I can see my reflection, my image, my likeness in the silver, I know that it's been in the fire long enough. The Bible says that our God will never tempt us above that that we are able. He will never try us beyond the grace that he's able to give us. And we pray that God will encourage you and bless you in the midst of of the fiery trial. God is with you. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. May God bless you richly.